Hi, Bruce from Safari, and uh, we're going to do a walk through this Zone RV limited edition here. Um, and uh, this is uh, Wade and Kerry Simmons' van. And uh, the issue they had was just not enough power. It had 200 amps here below the seat, and uh, we have upgraded that to 200 and 600. Made no change to the 12 volt side at all, so it's just intact. The battery's fitted in there perfectly. Uh, they're uh, reinforced on the side here. And then we've added our 48 volt uh, controllers and devices up the other end there, and then just connected it up and removed the lead acid battery out of there. Uh, we've left the Sonarine in place so that on the front here, the display uh, is still showing the tanks that are on here, the temp, and it's also showing the uh, house power load that we're running here uh, in uh, 12 volt. On this side of the seat, we put in the uh, 5,000 watt inverter. Now the reason why we've done a 5,000 watt inverter is that it will run the aircon which is pumping away now, it will run the electric hot water which is underneath there and it will also run the microwave and, uh, and then Wade's going to remove this and put a full electric kitchen in there. So the 5,000 watt will run all those. The solar that was on the top we took up to a very high PV and uh, so let's just have a look at that. And so the solar charger here, if I look at the daily history here, um, we got off it yesterday, 645 watts. We're in winter and uh, that wasn't a brilliant day. Uh, and we're running off the roof at 115 volts. So that's part of the reason why uh, we get such a high yield overall for the day. Overall, it's a very, very clean install. There's nothing really out of place there, and it just uh, gives them uh, tremendous ability to run that aircon directly off these batteries for uh, up to, uh, I'd say, up to eight hours, and then plugging in the vehicle into this, uh, then they'll comfortably get 12 to 15 hours uh, overnight uh, with change. I'd have to say, hey, how good's that?